Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have four new Gashapons to add to our collection. Gashapons are basically little capsules from vending machines that contain little figurines inside. And right here we have our Gashapons collection. And in this box, we have a couple of blind boxes figurines as well. They are very, very adorable. We might also take a look at some of the Gashapons right over here too. We have quite a number of them. We don't have a shelf specially for them, but we might have one really soon, okay? So stay tuned for that, okay? So let's open them up. All right, guys. So let's open our first Gashapon right here. Okay, so let's open this. It is nicely taped up right here. So we have to peel this open. This is basically the Japanese figurine. Oh, look what we have. Very adorable little tiger. And it looks kind of grumpy. Super adorable. So tigers are basically big cats, you can see. It is extremely cute. Just take a look at the face. Very grumpy face. Okay, it looks like a tiger cop. I'm not too sure, let's have a look. It's from Ruben. Okay, I'm not too sure whether these are from Ruben as well because they do look kind of similar, but this is actually from Bandai. So this is a very, very cute and adorable Ruben figure. I like this a lot. Let's have a look at this Keaton, Keaton Club right here. So basically it has a tiger, a sloth, a red panda, and a giraffe. They are absolutely adorable. I might try to get more of these Ruben figures really soon. Ruben Studio figures, yeah, because they are so, so, so cool. Okay, let's open another one. Okay, hopefully we are able to get another nice figure. I think we have the entire set, if I'm not wrong. And this time we have the giraffe. Nice. And the giraffe seems to need some assembly. So, yep, this is the giraffe. Let's open this. Have a look at this. Awesome stuff. Let's pop it right in. You can see this is basically a giraffe. And the giraffe actually looks very, very goofy. In case that you guys do not know, giraffes are basically the tallest land animals. I mean, it is the tallest land animal. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look at another figurine. This time I think we have the red panda. Red pandas, they are not related to the giant pandas, I think. Though the name is very similar. Red panda. Let's get this out. They are very small in size. I've actually seen a real red panda right in front of my eyes at the Singapore River Safari. I think right now it's known as River Wonders. Very cute. It's basically like sitting on its tail. Super adorable. And you can see it has a very chubby tummy. Adorable. These figures are just so gorgeous. Yep, I'm definitely getting more of them, to be honest. Definitely. They're too, they're too cute. Let's get our last figure out. So it seems like we have all four, if I'm not wrong, but we don't have... Yeah, one, yeah, we have all four. I thought there's another one. And this is a sloth. Oh, apparently the sloth doesn't look as goofy or as adorable as the rest because the face looks kind of realistic. It doesn't look as cute as this tiger, that's for sure. This tiger is like one of the cutest. Super grumpy. And I like this one as well. And this has got to be the goofiest looking. Look at the eyes. Okay. So, Ruben Studio. Very cool. I'm definitely trying to get more Ruben figures. That's for sure.
that's for sure. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely try to get more of them. And you can see these are some of the Bandai figures that I've purchased in the past. These two are the same. I think we should have more, but I can't seem to find them. And here is an Emperor Penguin with a penguin cheek. Very adorable. This one, yep, it's a little bird. This should be an Arctic Fox, or well, it could be a wolf. Yeah, these two are kind of similar. Very nice. Yep, absolutely gorgeous. So now let's take a look at some of the other similar, I wouldn't call them gashapons, but because they are actually from blind boxes. This is a lionfish. This is definitely not as adorable as this one, that's for sure, but check this out. This is a shoe bill. A very chubby shoe bill. Looks super adorable. Shoe bills are like prehistoric birds to me. Next, check this out. Hump back wheel. Kind of chunk chunky as well. And here it's a wheel shock. Yeah, you can see this wheel shock is basically a bloated version as well. Very cute and adorable. Wheel shocks are future figures. And here we have a walrus. Very good looking as well. Yep, super adorable. You can see it's very, very chubby. I like how they have made everything like super bloated. And this is also from a similar set. This is a Bon Hour. Bon Hour. Nice. And a Snowy Owl. You can see it is super chubby. Super chunky. Next, we have a Spotted Seal, which seems to be sleeping. This is the face, it's sleeping sideways. You can see the two flippers right here. Here we have a Sparrow. And apparently this is a mystery figure. It's one of the rarer ones. Very cute little sparrow. Sparrows are tiny little birds. They can be found everywhere. Everywhere in Singapore. Yeah, when I go out for my Pokemon walks, yeah, my Pokemon, I'm catching Pokemons again. I see lots of sparrows. And here's another one. This is a different version. And this one seems to be I'm not too sure it's a shark, that's for sure, but it looks... It could be a sand tiger shark. Could be. And here we have... I'm not too sure what this is. It looks like a cockatoo, with this little feather on top. It could be a parakeet. Very, very cute. Next, we have an orca. Super adorable as well, you can see. The cheeks are super bloated, super puffy, very adorable. All cars are also known as killer whales. They are magnificent sea creatures. They can even take down any whales. They hunt in pots, groups of all cars. And here for sea turtle, beautiful, adorable, big round eyes. Very, very cute. Yeah, these figures are pretty high quality, as you can see. Highly detailed. I love them. And this is a great white. Very, very cute as well. You can see the teeth. Super adorable. I definitely have more. And this one, it's a cool one. Han back. Rats. Hum hit rats. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Super adorable. And here I have a saw shock. So in this box, I actually hit my Playmobil figures as well. So let's have a look too. And here's a dolphin. Okay. And here's a giraffe. Giraffe is pretty cool. It has movable legs. I feel Playmobil figures are pretty good to collect as well. 
you can see this horse looks pretty awesome plenty of playability but I would say they are more suitable for younger ones I would say not so much for collectors but they are still pretty awesome as well here with a little dolphin the Shiba Inu shouldn't be here it's a schlag figure so I'm definitely putting this into our farm animals and dogs and cats box the little panda cop very cute if you have a shelf you can actually display them and they will look very nice that's for sure here's another horse comes with the gear as well another horse this one I'm not too sure whether it's a hawk or is this an eagle I can't really remember let's just call this a hawk I think it's a hawk this is definitely a sea turtle very very adorable with movable flippers turtles they have a long lifespan but not all of the young turtles manage to grow into a full adult because when they're young they are prone to being preyed by predators very very easily and there's a lot of poachers who went on to the beach to steal the eggs here's another Shiba Inu polar bear this one is nice movable neck all four limbs can move and it also has a movable jaw and you can see the tongue is actually painted in blue that's kind of cool this one what is this i can't really tell it looks like a dog but it could be a wolf we have a couple of flamingos nice flamingos orangutan movable head orangutans they are quite docile relatively docile if you compare them to chimpanzees for example this is a young gorilla a polar bear cop super adorable oh we missed out one beluga whale penguin most likely an emperor penguin which is the largest species of penguins around another flamingo so yep when you keep the flamingos it's basically in one flock which is kind of nice all right and seems like i have finished the entire box hopefully you guys like this video let me know down below what other figures you guys want me to review do you want me to review more gashapons or do you prefer taking a look at my animals collection 500 of them 100 of them let me know down below all right thanks for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye